Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm Anne Williams Redfern. I'm one of the business lecturers based at the Yale site. Um, and I'm here to uh, talk you through some of the wonderful, fantastic things that we do on business, as well as the courses, and for you to have an opportunity to ask me any questions that you might have. Um, before that, there's a short video for you to watch. Uh, enjoy, and I'll see you uh, after it. These doors of opportunity are open for you. There has never been a more exciting time to discover the growing corporate and public business sector firsthand. Business moves fast. Move with it. Dream big. Are you ready to invest in yourself? Here you will learn vital knowledge from experts, guest lecturers and industry professionals. Stepping out of the classroom and into the boardroom through focused work experience and regular visits to businesses across the UK. Learn to balance more than the books as you work across a range of topics, engaging events and challenges created to provide you with essential skills and knowledge to drive you forward. Businesses worldwide are searching for people just like you. Your future starts today. Colleg Cambria. Welcome back. I hope that gave you a little bit of a flavour about business. Um, business for me is, is a passion. I love my subject. Um, having run my own businesses as well, uh, as many of your tutors will have done. Uh, but business at Yale and across the D-side uh, site is something that we all um, enjoy and are very, very passionate about. So business, why, why business? Well, Business at the moment, as you know, with COVID and the current situation, um, has having an impact on many, many of our lives. Um, and that includes employment, the economy, uh, interest rates. And as a business student, what you might not understand now, you will be able to understand uh, because we are going to teach you those things and how how world events and things like the pandemic that we are currently in will have an impact and you will have that knowledge um, to be able to move forward and make judgments on. Business is also, uh, when you are coming onto your course, be it the level two course or our level three course, um, you are going to be offered the opportunity to understand how marketing works. So if you've got this passion for marketing, you want to be a social media influencer, uh, you want to use that mobile phone to some really good use, um, and it's offering you different pathways, then we, we will do this. We look at marketing, we look at human resources. So in that, we look at employment law, we look at recruitment and selection, but we also then look at event management. So if there's lots of you event planners out there, you fancy having a go at being the next person to have the next Reading Festival or Glastonbury, then I'm not saying we're going to make you ready made for them, but we will give you those tools and make you understand how you can manage uh, those types of events. You will actually have to do your own event as well. So you will have the opportunity to do your own event as well as, as planning it. In addition, you will be looking at um, finance and accounting. So for those who love numbers, uh, and lots of our students do love finance, uh, you will be doing this. Again, on the uh, foundation diploma, it is the equivalent of one and a half A-levels. Uh, there are exams and one of those exams will be the finance exam that you will be sitting in January. Now, I know some people like to do BTEC because there are no exams. However, with the new specification, we have to have these exams. However, you have got experienced and knowledgeable tutors who will be there to guide you step by step to make sure that you are absolutely 100% ready for that exam when you sit it in January. So for anybody who's feeling a little bit nervous about that part, please don't uh, be reassured that we are here to help you get through that. You'll also be looking at marketing. So another big part, like I've said, with the brand, 
branding uh, and being a social influencer, just a small part of marketing, but you'll be looking into that. Again, that is another part of, uh, of your exam, which you'll, you'll be sitting. Again, you'll be ready for that when it comes around. You'll also be looking at business as a whole. So you'll be looking at what are the external influences? So obviously we have the pandemic at the moment. What are the impacts on our economy? You see that in the news all the time about unemployment or all these things that can be quite scary. Um, but you as a business student are gonna learn about them and you are then gonna be able to understand and see how a manager could actually then start to make decisions based on uh, these things that are, are, are going on around us. You will be a manager one day, potentially. So as a business student, it's so important to have that grounding and that understanding about how our economy works, how it all works. Politics, to a certain extent, are a big, big part of, of how businesses work because they go hand in hand with each other. So you have got two mandatory exams for your first year, and then you've got four uh, pieces of coursework that you will you will be doing again we will be giving you the skills we're not just going to bung you in and say right get on with it we will be offering you those skills uh, step by step with some very experienced and knowledgeable tutors across both our sites to help support you through the process from transitioning from year 11 and and we really really do understand that you again you you have been out of education since march a lot of you uh, and again we are there to support that transition transition to support you not only to get it back in the door to come into college which is always quite daunting for people but also then to start at a, a different level now that's the level three foundation diploma we do also offer the level three business skills at Decide, which is looking into uh, administration office skills uh, managing an event so that's more to do with administration and how you would like to work in an office environment and again there is placements uh, uh, work experience placements for you to, 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 to take part in there as well level two some students choose I want to do level two. I've got the grades, but I feel I want to take a, a little bit of a year, take take my breath after my GCSEs. And this level two course that we do is called level two business skills. So we are developing your skills as a student. We are developing your skills for business. So you will do something called your EDCL, which is something you'll do, uh, which is an IT course to kind of get your IT skills up to speed. You'll also then be doing some um, business administration, which, again, like the level three, you will be looking at office based equipment, office, looking at meetings, how to manage events, all essential skills for all managers and all potential employees as well. And also to look at presentations, etc. You will also then be doing uh, part of the BTEC level two, uh, where you will also then be looking at key areas starting your own business, enterprise, the economy, not as in, in depth as you would at level three, but nonetheless, you'll be looking at at level two. You then might progress, think this is brilliant. I want to go into level three. And that level two is your stepping stone up to the level three. Some of you might not get the grade you want for your maths and your English. That's it will happen. That's what we're here for. And that's why the level two is there for you as well. If that's the case, you come with us on that journey and we will support you to maintain those skills, to get you through your maths and or English, as well as developing those essential business skills and also give you that year just to, to kind of get used to being in the college environment. So that level two uh, business skills and the level three foundation diploma in business goes across both sites. In year two for the foundation diploma, um, for a lot of you, you might think, you know what, the foundation diploma has been really good. I've, I've enjoyed a lot from this. I've got a lot from it. I'm now going to start my own business. I might go and get an, a high level apprenticeship. Uh, I might want to go and get a job. There's so many opportunities there for you. However, if you choose to go on to our extended diploma, which is then the equivalent of three A-levels, so you have then got the potential to come out with um, three A stars, which is the top grade you can get, but again, three A levels as well. 
In the second year, we then develop and uh, progress from your knowledge and skills that you've already had. Uh, and we look into more into the management side of things. So we start to look at the principles of management. We look at managing change. We start to look at culture. All these things you're thinking, what on earth is she going on about right now? But you come with us for that year and you come with us until that second year, you'll have such a good understanding about what that means. And even if you don't become a manager, to be understand how businesses work is really, really important as an employee to understand how a business should be. We also then look at business decision making. We also look at the English legal system, uh, which is then looking into criminal and civil law. We also then look into training and development, uh, how to start your own business, so pitch a new business, and we also look into customer service. There's a right variety of different uh, units as well as uh, international business. Again, especially with what, what's happening with China at the moment, lots and lots of exciting things that are happening across the world um, that as a business student, you should be really, really excited about. I get really excited uh, about different things, um, bit mad sometimes but you've got to be I think really if you really love your subject because everything's interconnected with business so you have to then be able to then start to make those links the more you enjoy business I think the more you'll get out of this course as well um so essentially that really is 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 the business BTEC uh level three so like I said two exams and four pieces of coursework and in our year two, you go on again, but this time you do two exams, but you do four pieces of coursework. You will be expected to do the Welsh Baccalaureate. I can hear the groans through the screen right now. I can hear them. However, I think the level three advanced Welsh skills challenge is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I actually think it adds value to your course with the things that you do. So I know you'll have done the global challenge and all these things uh, at school. Some of you probably wouldn't have finished it because of, of, of what's gone on. Uh, but I think it really develops you as an individual. And I feel you can get a lot as business students from these, from these challenges. So in the first year, you'll do two of the challenges. And then in the second year, you'll go on to do the second two challenges. And then past that which I'm sure you will the potential there is to come out from your BTEC extended diploma in business with four A levels where can this take me you say it can take you wherever you want to be I've had students this year that have gone off to the University of Liverpool to study law I've had students go off to study criminology off to do teacher, teacher training some are going off to obviously do business business management so the choice is yours, really. If you want to go to university, then the option is there. Uh, and don't ever think that universities don't take BTECs. They, they do. I've been teaching BTEC for a very, very long time. And I've also taught A-level business as well. And a BTEC student is, is a hardworking student. A BTEC student is somebody who's got the ability to manage their time, to manage their motivation, and also to be able to cope with exams and coursework is really putting you in a really good strong position for university but also in a really good position if you choose to go on to do a higher level apprenticeship or you choose to go and take a job because you'll have that knowledge about how a business runs you'll have knowledge about impact you'll have knowledge about management you know so really you have got uh, what we're giving you is, is is the academic skills, but we're also giving you lots of other skills that will help you in your life uh, and your future life. You'll always be able to read a paper, look at the news and go, hmm, I understand what they're talking about. Has anybody got any questions? Somebody must have a question for me. Have I just done so well and answered it all for you? Some of the questions that people might ask is how will things look um, come September? We're not sure at the moment. Um, so really, we are there to follow the Welsh Government guidelines um, and you will be kept up to date 
with things if you go onto our website there will always be COVID-19 updates uh, so don't be too um, worried about about that um, so again we are just following the guidelines at, at the moment other questions you might have are there any costs for the course well at Yale we do encourage students to buy uh, the business um, t-shirts um, and we do obviously encourage students to look into buying textbooks again and obviously resources pens etc etc and we will be looking into that and talking about that uh, a little bit more when we when we have our induction any more questions if you still want to apply oh sorry hi john thank you for a question is there is there help applying with apprenticeships well actually we do have a department at yale that do work with um our work-based department do work with apprenticeships so once you've studied with us, then that's and that's something that you you feel you want to go down the the, uh, the the avenue of. Then we will help support you with that. You will have a pastoral tutor who will be your. I am the foundation diploma uh, pastoral tutor, or one of them, and I am there to help support you through um, work and also to help support you through things like applying for apprenticeships and what you want to do for your future. I hope that's answered your question, John. We do try and go out as many trips as we possibly can. Obviously, in light with what's gone on, um, it's very, very difficult to say. Uh, I know last year we planned, uh, especially for my second years, we planned to go to uh, Manchester Crown Court, where we do lots of lot. We do law court shop at uh, court shops, court room uh, experiences. Alton Towers was actually one of the events that my foundation diploma students organised themselves. Um, we do, uh, where else were we going to go? Yeah, Alton Towers, we have that. Oh, and the Cabri's World, we were off to go to as well with, with my level twos. Uh, we're off to do Cabri's World because we were doing branding last year. I'm hoping um, that we can fulfil as many trips as we possibly can next year uh, when you come. Um, and we'd, but again, we just have to see how the land lies with all that. Alton Towers is open. Things are opening, but we just need to see how, how well that will go. But definitely want to get you out as many trips as I can. Will I be able to set up my own business whilst on the course? Absolutely. Uh, I think that would be brilliant. Um, as long as it's not taking you 100 hours a week to set up your business, because we do need you to be focused on your course. Um, whenever you're in class, brilliant but when you're outside of class we also need we expect you to be doing work as well but absolutely and i hope we will give you the tools to do that um if you are if you are doing level two um you do actually have a unit which is um enterprise uh, business in an enterprise world where you have to set your own business up but yeah absolutely gareth can i ask you a question what kind of what kind of business uh, are you thinking of setting up Not going to answer me now. <laughs> but no, definitely. I haven't actually heard if I have a place on the course. Okay. I had an email to say that an interview is supposed to take place, but I haven't heard. Okay. Thank you, Penny. Uh, okay. Have you, what could potentially be happening is um, student services will phone you up. Now, the number uh, will be a number you don't recognize, uh, 0200 or something like that. Um, so make sure you, you answer it. Um, and that should be student services will be doing an, uh, an online uh, interview for you. However, if you don't have um, that uh, that telephone call, make sure uh, even after this, if you just contact student services uh, and just make sure that you have got, they are aware of the situation and, and make sure you, you get that interview booked, okay? I'll make a note of your name as well, Penny, so I can chase that at my end, okay? Okay then guys, well, thank you very, very much. If you have any further questions, then uh, obviously go onto the website, contact student services. Um, I hope I've answered, well, obviously given you as much. Oh, hang on, here we go. ER, is the course online or on paper, et cetera? Oh, here we go. In classroom, um, we will have Chromebooks. We have got Chromebooks for every student. 
Obviously, at the moment, with things being as they are, we might have a combination of blended learning. So you might have some parts online, some in play. We don't know what's going on at the moment. However, we have Google Classroom. So all your tutors will set up a classroom and that's where you'll have that, uh, that electronic interface. I know in my classrooms, everything is set up in there. You'll have access to all your lessons. Uh, we have Google Meets. Um, there's lots of Q&A sessions happening there. And again, you as students can do that too. Videos I set up on there. I set videos on there. So it, yeah, but you will need paper as well. Um, in class, give that pen and some paper uh, and you'll be uh, you know, writing stuff down. Working in groups. Again, we have to see what the guidelines are, but ultimately working in groups, working together um, and, and also doing presentations, which will require to use a laptop. But if you want to buy your own laptop, absolutely fantastic, yeah. Ellie, thank you very much. Is there support with the finance module? Ooh, don't worry about that. Ellie, I'm absolutely rubbish at maths myself. And I always say this whenever I start teaching finance, because I have taught this for years too. You don't have to be a whiz at maths. You really, really don't. Finance and accounting is a very, very different thing. Um, it's, it's more about um, formulas and it's more about understanding how finance works, which is what we're going to be looking into. How does finance work? How does What does that mean for businesses? But also the module you'll be looking at is something called personal finance. So we're actually going to be looking at your finances. A bit scary, a bit scary module to do sometimes. You have to start looking at, we look at overdrafts, we look at personal credit, we start to look at budgets. So we actually start to look at how you manage your own personal finance. We also look at mortgages, we look at savings accounts, we look at car insurance because you're going to be at age where it's probably going to be the uh, what the one thing you're looking for, um, as well as the accounting. But yeah, you get absolutely loads of support for that. And our, and our tutors who deliver that are really, really um experienced angela are all assignments in written form or practical good question um again these are combined and um, we work really hard to ensure that you are not writing reams and reams we appreciate it's important in a business environment and and in, in any business that you have to have a certain level of written communication if you need to do a report or um you have to be writing a paper or a proposal. However, when we are doing our sessions, we also assess you practically. So um, I've had students in the past who've done role plays. I've had students who have um, obviously presentations. It's a key one that, that we, we get students to do uh, either face to face um, and even just actually doing something physically in the class, actually uh, running something or doing something, uh, an activity that we can actually assess you on. So, yeah, I'm not expecting you to be writing reams and reams and reams. OK. All right. I think we should. Brilliant. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, and again, I hope to see you all in September, either it be D side or Yale site. Um, but you know, you you should see me, uh, and we feel, uh, and it'd be lovely to kind of catch up. All right. Good luck, and um, have a lovely summer. Take care.